What is going on guys? Hope you guys are doing well. I'm on Passion Deal today with the Scavenger Affliction Equipped. Now that is the affliction that causes you to have a lower amount of ammo and you're not able to be resupplied by a support class. So you're basically left to scavenge the battlefield to find weapons to pick up to hopefully uh, keep yourself alive. So figured I would get myself started on progressing my way for those special dog tags that you can unlock by uh, completing those um, affliction requirements. Now I do know you have to get, um, for one of them you have to get about 200 kills with the scavenger affliction equipped. So I was basically only equipping it on Passchendaele as that's a map that uh, is very close range and I've been seeing a lot of people get a lot of high kills on it. I've been getting some high kills on it as well too. So pretty consistent on that. And for the most part, I think I've been getting like averaging like 50 kills a game on this map. So uh, that's what's kind of my strat when equipping this specialization. You do as well have another one where you have to uh, get um, like a five kill streak. So I do go on a little bit of a kill streak here, which is nice. Unfortunately, having a little bit of a hard time lately finishing my kills. Uh, part of the reason why you may ask why I'm not using the SMG OA18 as that's pretty close to um, somewhere between the Hell Rigo and the Automatico. And that's because when I had it equipped, I wasn't finishing my kills and I was like wondering if something was going on, especially after we just had that major bug. I wasn't sure if you know we were having a little bit more issues. So I kind of went back to my other um, weapon and I was just having the exact same thing happen. So I was able to, you know, figure out that it was more me than the game itself so I'll, I'll eventually hopefully get back to that now almost uh, got myself killed there was just had no more ammo after that was just uh, kind of weakening that guy hoping that if he ran around the corner I could melee him but for the most part when I've been using this affliction I think the biggest thing I've been having problems with is actually finding weapons after I kill any players so I think that's kind of the more difficult thing Especially if there's a lot of enemy players around you and you're like really need a weapon and I just find myself spending a lot of time just kind of I don't know just looking on the ground trying to find it and uh, Yeah, it can kind of mess you up and when you really don't have Really any time to spare. I mean you don't have any time to spare even when you don't have an affliction equipped So um, yeah, it definitely can mess you up a little bit But for the most part besides that really not all too bad and I, I figured that um, you know for the requirements for this affliction to be equipped shouldn't be all too bad now unfortunately I'm gonna get stuck right here and I'm gonna be able to just get by but Ben basically trying to find weapons that I felt um, would have probably the best ammo and some stuff I felt like I could just I don't know do more damage on you could say so basically on this map I was um, grabbing everything from support class saw class and medic class and basically the only class I was really touching was the scout class just because it was just really close range and I'm not that you know well skilled playing the scout class at a really uh, aggressive style so uh, I'm gonna try to get to finish these guys off and fortunately I'm able to, to do that as much as again having a hard time finishing my kill so it does make it a, a little bit interesting uh, but yeah definitely wanted to uh, get that streak going and um, get those five kill streaks that I would need to get um, as well. Uh, slowly work towards that 200 uh, kills you have to have um, with the affliction. Now, I was averaging probably about 50 kills a game actually on this map with the affliction equipped. This one's a little bit of a lower um, kill game just because I, I was playing more with my teammates on this one, trying to stay alive. Um, but yeah this map really does allow you to really get like rack up the kills here so um, I mean of course you can just kind of play through all the maps as you can see me right there trying to pick up enemy players gun it's just it's one of those things man it's, that's, the, that's the more difficult part of this um, of this uh, affliction you see me again come up over here now and this is gonna mess me up big time because this is I think the exact same um, the exact same guy I had just uh, picked up from earlier and so it threw me off because I was looking at my screen hoping to see like the weapons change and nothing changed I was like what so I went to go pick it up again and I realized it was the exact same guy so I had to swap it like a couple times to finally get uh, the his weapon that I just killed him with so I can get some ammo uh, but like I was saying uh, you can continue you know keeping this affliction equipped um, but I was kind of bouncing off and uh, you know forth from different maps 
and kind of just equipping it on maps I felt like I could just really rack up the kills on. So, um, yeah, Passchendaele is definitely that map. Uh, still keeping the streak alive right now. Um, I was hoping I, I would go on a pretty crazy streak, but uh, I mean, it was not, not all too bad. But again, the you know the scavenger affliction is not again not too bad, especially if you are you know used to playing a bunch of other weapons, uh, which I think a lot of you probably are more skilled in that than I am. So I figured that a lot of people would probably do pretty well using this affliction. So uh, again, it would have been a little bit nice if Dice would have been able to you know done a little bit more when it comes to these uh, few specializations because they do feel. Right, they're going to be kind of over a one and done type of thing, more of a just kind of a monthly challenge. Um, I'm sure by the end of March I'll, I'll have it all com uh, completed, and then there's going to be no point to have it equipped after that. So that's a little bit unfortunate, but at least for right now, you know, I'll kind of see it as kind of that you know monthly challenge for me. And uh, again, I like how the dog tags look, so I don't know how you guys feel about them. I think they are, as I described them as, they're kind of unique uh, to the battlefield, so that was definitely pretty cool. Now teammates are able to take out the support class basically blew them up right there and I'm gonna keep flanking from the side over here. I'm doing a lot of flanking on Passchendaele I'm kind of staying away from that middle part seems like that middle part when you try to go over there from you know B to C or D to C there's some weird gameplay that goes on over there it seems like and considering that I do not have any smoke that definitely does not help now what is interesting is you do get resupplied um, with if you are carrying smoke or like a light tank grenade or which, whatever the grenades are um, on your kit that you're playing with you do get resupplied with it so that is interesting you won't get resupplied with ammo or with your gadgets uh, so yeah that is kind of nice and me being able to carry smoke around a lot I you know that's why I like doing it. I'll, I'll throw it out in the middle give myself cover and on this map, I feel like if I don't do it, it's just so close range that there's just going to be someone who's going to see you. It's not going to take you that long. So I'm going to go and keep flanking around, keep do, trying to do the exact same thing as I just came around here earlier and did. Um, trying to, again, stay with my teammate as my teammate's all glitching out over there. I'm trying to watch out, watch my corners, want to get shots on the side or anything like that. And I think I'm going to finish this guy off. No, teammate's going to finish him off. And uh, another, another interesting thing that I it, have been noticing too with this Affliction Equipped is your melee weapon. Um, I was saying this earlier on uh, some of the early CTE gameplay on this map that you might want to have a melee weapon equipped that can, you know, break wire because there's so much barbed wire on this map and it just makes it easier for you. But man, when you're just walking through all of these uh, classes, man, you're going to find people with the various uh, type of melee weapons. And, you know, the, you're just so used to, you know, you don't use it that much, right? And so, um, you know, you're not really at that time using that kit, really thinking about your melee weapon until, you know, you really need to use it. And then you're like, oh, I have a little knife that I'm using here or, you know, something that's not going to, you know, cut the... Uh, the barbed wire or not enough you know melee power if you're trying to melee someone so it's just something i've been trying to do i've been trying to like kind of play with the uh kit that i have just doing a quick melee trying to figure out what i have as quick as i can um as i'm just gonna again miss more shots here so it's been a little bit of the epidemic for me lately i cannot finish my kills so fortunately my teammates are to finish them off and now i'm gonna try to flank over the side as their spawn is gonna be right over here to the um right over there right behind me so I'm just trying to get myself um, positioned as this guy yep, spawns right there in front of me and I just want to just try to kill him really quick pick up his weapon and get myself uh, positioned somewhere that uh, they're not gonna overrun me over here unfortunately um, this is gonna be the end of my streak right here as I, I knew they were gonna be coming I probably should have kept pushing out but I, mean, I didn't even hear this guy this guy just is on the right side of me completely pushed me out one shot so I think I went on like a 14 kill streak right here. So, I mean, not all too bad um, for the most part. But, um, yeah, it would have been pretty cool if I was able to go like the whole game. Uh, <laughs> Wiss is equipped. Not saying that would have been like too crazy again. I, I don't think this is much of a, too, of a you know, crazy affliction. Um, I think the other one where you're consistently losing life and you have to kill someone and then get yourself... Uh, um, healed only by um, you know killing an enemy player. I think that one is gonna, is, is just mad insane. So you know, again, uh, not too crazy. I think it's very doable, and so that's why I'm not really quite sure what I'm gonna do when it comes to 
what I've been doing in the past when it comes to specialization is kind of giving like my how to of how I did them probably will go about doing that but I, I don't think I'll have much to really say considering a lot of this is just, just grinding it out you know 200 kills I mean how are you gonna tell someone to do that uh, I mean there's little things I guess I'm doing right here where you know I am you know trying to you know maybe start off with a weapon that you can feel that you can get like a high amount of kills on um, you know just find weapons that you think you can slay with now is not the time to uh, maybe be experimenting with a new weapon um, you know something like that but um, you know, or maybe you're just playing on maps so you think you can get a, a lot of high kills on. You know, those are options right there, but, you know, that's, uh, even then, those aren't really, you know, much, like, help. Because you, you can pretty much could avoid all that, and, you know, it's still not going to, you know, help you out that much. So, um, again, it's going to be a bit of, these are more grindy uh, afflictions or specializations or, you know, whatever, mission, mission requirements that you need to do. But yeah, it will be uh, it'll be pretty interesting to see um, like who ends up getting these dog tags and seeing people rocking them on the battlefield. So I haven't seen anyone get them yet. I haven't been in, haven't been dead at all and saw it on my uh, kill screen. Uh, but yeah, we'll see what's coming up here in March now. Um, but teammates did a really good job this game. They were able to basically uh, take control right over here. We actually get a little bit of a run. Uh, right about here where we're gonna I think start pulling away from the enemy team which is nice now um, nice thing is I do have all of my dynamite equipped for my assault class so I, all, I have all my three sticks of dynamite but I only have one shot in my AT rocket gun so that's pretty interesting considering one of my gadgets is completely full and the other one um, is barely has anything in it so not quite sure what's going on there but uh, yeah if you're you know maybe accustomed to playing the Assault class, I mean, if you want to, you know, help yourself out a little bit, dynamite is one way to go. So, uh, I'm going to kill that scout class though really quick and lay down some flares. I didn't want to keep the class. I had enough still. With the Hell Regals, I just spawned in with it, but wanted to use his flares. And, uh, yeah, try over here, Cap A. Staying with my team, basically, I think kind of helped keep the streak up a little bit. Probably didn't get as high kills as I normally would have um, on this map just because I was playing a little bit more... Um, you know, just further away, which was helping me out a little bit, but you know, that's kind of a, you know, kind of a trade-off there. If you want to maybe get the uh, mission requirement for the high kill streak, you know, maybe stay with your teammates a little bit, kind of pick off enemy players, or if you're trying to get a lot of kills, you know, you just go all Rambo, go all out, and uh, put yourself in, you know, behind enemy lines, start flanking a lot, and do things like that. So, clearing out the last of the enemy players round A, want to make sure that we cap that. Fortunately, I had a pretty good team, so that definitely helped, especially when you have the afflictions equipped because you can use all the help you can get. So it's something you probably want to keep an eye out for. You know, maybe you know, don't necessarily start off with it at the very beginning of the game. Kind of see how well your team is doing. Um, just because, I mean, you can get kind of grindy. I, I can imagine this will probably uh, could get to that point, and you don't want to get to the place where you're just like hating Battlefield. So maybe just kind of get a good feel, very first like five minutes of the game, you know, see when you first die. If you do really well then, then maybe equip the certain specializations um, so it's not as of a grind. Because I mean, if you come into a game where you're just being punished and then you had that on top of it, you, you know, you might not want to come back to Battlefield. So don't want to make it to that point. And so fortunately I was able to pick up another Assault class weapon, which um, is kind of the obvious thing you'd want to do if you have a choice. and maybe you can flank some enemy players and if you can you know see the class that you're more familiar with maybe take out that class first uh, you know maybe do something like that can maybe help you out but again these are you know kind of difficult to help people out on is these are just gonna be more of a grind you just gotta play it through and uh, you know just have it equipped and just play some games and you know work your way up towards to it so let me know down in the comments below if you guys are working towards unlocking those affliction dog tags uh, what afflictions you're using and you know just what stretch you're going about with them as again I feel there's still going to be this very more grindy type of strats that I think will be kind of the best thing you can really say is just you know you got to play the game right so if you just have them equipped you play the game you're, just, you're naturally going to progress your way there not quite sure yet if I'm going to equip multiple special uh, affliction specializations at the same time I mean some of them might not be really too bad like if you have paranoia with you know the scavenger not sure if that'd be all too bad or the peacock one as well maybe with scavenger 
you know. But right now, I'm just kind of sticking to one at a time, kind of staying focused onto that. And probably by the probably by the time I realize that, uh, you know, I, I probably could equip them all and speed up the process. I'll, I'll probably, you know, have already knocked out a good chunk of them where I won't be able to do that anymore. But um, you know, it's just kind of how I'm going with it right now. But you know, if you want to do it, I, I tried a little bit on the CTE of equipping multiple specializations at the same time, and it was like a bit. <laughs> It, it would go to the highs and it would go to the lows like really fast. I'm, I might go on like on a crazy streak really quick and get a bunch of kills and just do a lot of damage and I feel really good about myself and then I'll just get punished like multiple times in a row. So yeah, like I said, I want to be, you know, just be careful. You don't want to be pulling your hair out uh, playing BF1 now. I'm going some pretty uh, solid little streak right here as I'm going to get a good multi-kill with the... A dynamite but unfortunately I'm out of dynamite now I was gonna drop one run that shotgun that was being shot behind me I would have been able to finish him off if it wasn't for the SMG 08 so uh, that was pretty epic right there definitely again why I love battlefield because you have moments like that yeah it would have been nice if I would able to finish that guy off but for the most part not all too bad so um, again definitely uh, some pretty interesting gameplay to say the least when it comes to the specialization and uh, again, I'll be curious to hear uh, what your guys' approach when it comes to that. So I'm going to post up over here towards the side as, again, I, I was kind of caught a little bit behind uh, in between A and B here. My teammates are going to grab A, but um, I should have stayed posted up here a little bit, a little bit longer as your this first initial reaction right when you kill somebody, you just want to go run up to them and pick up their weapon and you begin to kind of get into a habit of doing that which uh, fortunately will kind of get you killed pretty quick as you can just see that happen to me um, up here in a second so if you can try to stay patient and you know not get too antsy about getting that weapon instantly you know you might be able to avoid uh, you know some unnecessary deaths as I should just stay posted up here towards the corner waited for the guy to show up and he saw his teammates all dying everywhere and uh, yeah that's what ended up happening Unfortunately, because I was just, again, being a little bit too aggressive, trying to get those weapons as quick as I can. Now, I do want to quickly talk about the other two specializations I have equipped right now. As you can see on the bottom right of my screen, I have Inconspicuous equipped along with Slink. So, Slink is the most recent specialization that was added to the group, and that one allows you to have a softer footsteps sound across the map so enemy players won't hear your footsteps as much so that is definitely pretty nice and probably in my opinion the two best specializations in the game right now not quite sure which one i like more considering that you know slink is something that is basically kind of always working for you as you can see it's highlighted right now as i'm using it um, but when it comes to inconspicuous I have to be at a non-movement stance or like if I have to be crouched for it to work but what it does protect me from is from enemy flares and that is pretty big so I'm kind of torn between which I would like more but it is nice I'm able to have them both equipped right now so that is definitely pretty helpful now unfortunately I got myself killed there uh, by B when I know they're gonna be spawning right behind there so if they start the very beginning of the game by A and B and if they are trying to recap B and you guys are on B and they spawn spawn on it they will spawn way far back right where I'm looking ahead right there so you can probably post up on top of the pillbox I normally like to be on the side and kind of push up towards them way out over here towards the right in that situation there I was just kind of a little bit too aggressive and just kind of got overwhelmed by them so do be aware of that as again they will creep up from you maybe on the side as they're trying to do right now now unfortunately i'm going to get in a kind of awkward situation here where i i should have dropped dynamite instead of trying to shoot this player right here and that is going to kind of put me at a disadvantage because now i'm going to run out of ammo here really quick and it probably been a good call for me to pick up that weapon that guy had but i was just so focused on this guy I wasn't sure what he was going to do and the, the gasser lately like i said i'm not finishing my kills nor am i aiming well at all and the gasser is like the last weapon you want to be using if you're not doing well with shooting your gun so um he's gonna push up really further weather he's gonna be a little bit closer to me and it was just i'm, I'm over <laughs> i knew i'm dead i'm gone i'm there's not nothing's gonna happen there so uh yeah this is how, how it's been rolling lately 
Um, you know, for the most part, from the gameplay looks right now, it looked not all too bad, but like I said, I do begin to rack up some deaths here. So that was uh, a little bit unfortunate, uh, but it is nice to know that I was able to get those 200 kills that were required for the specialization along with that kill streak. So that is helpful. And like I was saying earlier, you know, when you're averaging, for the most part, what I was, 50 kills a game on this map, even though this game here is not going to quite make it up to that amount, um, it definitely got me there, you know, sooner than later. So, um, yeah, there was it definitely is something you want to keep an eye out for if you, because I think Passion Dale is a very high kill map. That's how it kind of plays out. Very close together. You're not going to have to look too far to experience some, uh, some action here. So, I'm going to post up here by C, though. Because uh, their spawn is going to be right over that hill, so I'm waiting for that. But we are able to neutralize the flag, so shouldn't be anyone that should be spawning out over here. Now, unfortunately, I think there's going to be a scout class that is going to spawn, but he's just going to post up by a tree, and I'm just going to completely run right by him, and he's going to be able to finish me off. So um, it's kind of been happening a lot of me lately too. I've just kind of just been overlooking a lot of players. Um, if you, <laughs> I think the best way to be remain hidden around me is just don't move. If you don't move around me at all, I'll just overlook you so much because I'm constantly looking for movement. I'm like, I, I was like, what, 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 what just happened right now? It just threw me off, and unfortunately, my smoke wasn't really thrown that well. So uh, he's able to finish me off right there, and uh, like I was just saying, I'm gonna go on a little bit of a, sh a death streak right here, and I'm gonna rack up those deaths. But that's basically a first look at the scavenger afflictions for you guys to just kind of give you guys a feel of what I've been going through right now again we'll see how it progresses out here in the future but it is good to be back on the battlefield it is good to be back uh, playing on a game that is not broken and we'll begin to see what dice is rolling out for us coming up here with our monthly updates but that's basically it for you guys today though again I appreciate you guys being here I'm gonna let the video run out it's gonna be almost be ending here in a little bit and I will catch you guys again later Peace.